to keep it very much candid. Until I looked at myself in the mirror one day and I was disgusted with what I saw. So I said, you gotta make a change, man. It's all about fun, laugh, and get through life. I find you have everything to gain with Christ, and without him, everything to lose. And welcome to the show today. Joining me is my co-host, Miss Tiffany Shannon. Our special guest today is Miss Kaday Sassay. She's a professor, advisor, a curriculum writer, and an entrepreneur, beta board member, and author of Secret Education, a short guide for prospective college students. Thank you for joining us today, today. Hi, Thank you so welcome. Much for me. Both of you are and we want it. we want to try to get as much information from your book as possible to tell these kids <laughs> what they need to do. But yes. before we get to that, we got some real talk to do first because okay. I'm sure you've heard of the scandal, the college scandal oh, with yes, Laura Lachlan and and uh, Felicity Hus. Uh, husband, uh, husband yeah. uh, getting their kids into the college. Which I don't understand why they paid the, co the coach <laughs> off when they could have just made a donation uh -huh. to the college, <laughs> yes. asked to have their name put on the library door and keep it moving. Yes. They'd have got them in there, you know. Yes. And I'm not saying they shouldn't be punished, but I don't know what the big deal is because this has been going on Forever. forever. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Forever. They just happened to get caught. <laughs> yes, they did. Well, they just want to make an example for one thing. Oh, they want to make an example of Definitely, them. definitely. I think they actually should pay a fine and, uh, you know, just let it go after after that. Well, yeah, I mean, pay the fine should. to a college that's not elite. Yes. Pay it to a college that really needs the money. Right. When yeah, it can basically true. help yeah. out. To one of our black like have uh, colleges, HBCUs. they should pay it to that. Yeah. True. Okay. Yeah, but I just question. don't understand why they are going this hard on them. Um, I see it as this. People have to do what they have to do to get their child in the door. My motto is, I got to get you in the door. What you do when you get in the door <laughs> is on you. <laughs> if I had $500,000, I would pay to get my child in the door. Well, the only difference is not, not pay it to the coach now. Well, I'm, not to the coach. I'm telling, I'm, I'm right, telling you, if you make that to donation school. to that college, you will they more apt to say your kid can come to that college because you didn't make this huge, you know, donation towards the college. But you can't do it the year that the child is supposedly getting ready to go to college. You got to do that a couple of years, years in advance so it doesn't look like that's Very what you're true. doing. Well, like Dr. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> Dr. Dre did it. And yes, then he posted yes. up, oh, my child got into whatever school that exactly. was. I forgot. And I then said. they posted back, oh, stop. You made a $500,000 donation. <laughs> <laughs> donation. Yes. Yeah, but see, he was smart. He, he did it before. He didn't wait right up to the time. See, you can't wait right up to the time because then everything looks suspicious. You oh, have to do stuff where it doesn't well, look suspicious. they've been suspicious. investigating this man for a while, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. and uh, well, he, he gave just them happened, up. Yes, yeah, he, he just happened to up. spill the beans on all of them. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's not even college uh, students that this is happening to. I mean, parents, through the regular Board of Ed system, mm -hmm. they do things to get their kids in oh, junior yes. high and high school. So that's what I'm saying because it's... it's there's a lot it's of popping. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like everybody is, is doing it, so you can't just say, okay, let's go after them right. and do it. Because people change addresses, they go step oh, yes. with relatives, definitely. they do some of everything to, to get, get their kids, kids into in the bank. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Exactly. There are loopholes definitely with the Board of Education versus college and university. They want you to be so you know, strategic in the way that you mm -hmm. do things and the way that you actually get through the system to get in. And so... Actually, when you think about them paying this man $500,000 to coach, you know, to get in. But guess what? He had a network. He had connections that exactly. were able to tweak things for him. Exactly. So they could get in. So mm -hmm. these are, I mean, you think about the loopholes with people. Eventually, you're going to get caught. You know, well, that's that's very with, true. And especially when you're dealing that's, that's with somebody, true. a middle person. When they get in trouble, yes. they bring everyone down with them. They yes. tell everything. <laughs> yes. You know, that's that's the only thing is you can't trust anyone. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> <laughs> all that money just yeah. went away. This, this uh -huh. is what I'm saying. That's why I say they, they should have done it in a different way. Okay. You know, yes. rather than going through the coach. Yes. And then who knows? He he could have taken the money and ran off uh, uh, with yes. the money or something. That's why I, I, I was like, are they crazy? Giving this man five hundred. 
thousand dollars. These are people with money. Right. It doesn't five hundred thousand is nothing to them. We would pass out if <laughs> <laughs> we had five hundred thousand. And when we take our kids, when we send our school our kids to school with the five hundred thousand dollars, or would mm -hmm. we purchase some land somewhere and other things and send them on to a spellman <laughs> or a Howard? You and know? then another thing too is when you're trying to get your kids in college or either you know junior high, high school or whatever. You whatever that uh, pr prestigious school is, you have to make sure those kids can keep up. Yes. Because see, once they get in and, right. and they can't keep up, that's even worse. Mm -hmm. because, because now it's they be, fail. It's it. too rigorous. The exactly. the course, the information and the work. And a lot of times the students, once they get in, they're not able to really stay there because they are like, they're clueless and they, mm -hmm. they're having such a difficult time and they wind up failing out and then they have to transfer schools and well, some, some of them, them actually get to, to stay. Some of them get to stay because you just like how well, you I mean, have sports you, students, yeah. Yeah. you know, sometimes some of the sports students, you know, hey, can you pass me? I'm trying to stay on the team. And especially because yeah. there's so much money, they even in that, that area, yeah. as far as they the schools are concerned, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, they'll make sure that those top students stay there. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope they don't get no 40 years. I really do. Uh, because I just think 40 years is, is uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, they kill two years. or three people no, and, they, and no. they don't get 40 yeah, years. So yeah. how you give someone 40 years? They just want to make it a scene like, like, you know, they put 100 yeah. counts against them. Each count has about five, right. 10 years. Right. And then that's how you get 40. Right. And then they'll <laughs> knock that down. There's no way you're giving 40 years for, you know. I don't know. I mean, well, I'm pretty. Well, she might not get 40, but they may give about 10. Who knows? Well, they like, they know. after her. Oh, yes. <laughs> because I think also, too, she was probably more so. And oh, well, she not going to happen. She was too <laughs> nonchalant because at the, was that at the course where she was signing oh, the autograph? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how stupid mm -mm. can you be? Yep, True. not thinking that it will definitely you're happen. You're supposed to come in looking like, you know. You're remorseful. You, 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 you're upset for what, what you did and, yes. you know, I didn't mean to do it. Uh -huh. Like, how are you out there signing an autograph? Uh, well, that goes to show you. And now she's been fired <laughs> from her detective shows. On you know, Hallmark? I, I look at her Hallmark. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I yeah. didn't know that part. They See, I didn't read that yeah, part. Well, you know they, they're always quick to drop yeah, you. And then once the her. public figures it died she'll down and forgot yes. about it, she'll be that, back. That if she yeah. do that if all if the she time. Go to jail. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that first. She'll probably get her contract back yes. if she doesn't go to jail or whatever. Yeah. Yes. But like I say, look, you want to get your child in a school, <laughs> you do it the right way, yes. or call me and I'll tell you the secret. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we're coming back with our special guest. Yes. Kadesh is safe. We'll be right back. Thank you. Keeping it real, it's Shana. A redhead <gasps> staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Hi, my name is Tiffany, and you're watching Keeping It Real with Shannon. Shannon can be seen every Saturday at 5.30 p.m. on Brooklyn Public Network and Manhattan Neighborhood Network at 2.30 p.m. You can check your local listings for the channels. Let's keep it real and watch the show. It's Shannon. It's Shannon. It's Shannon. Hi, if you're just joining us, our guest today is Ms. Kade Sisay Lee, and she wrote a book called Secret Education. This book helps students prepare themselves for college. So, Ms. Kade, um, we've finished the scanner now, so now we're going to get serious <laughs> about these kids getting in college. So, some of the kids may go, now let me stop calling them kids, some of the students yes. may want to go to 
college or university. Tell them what is the difference between a college and a university? Well, colleges, uh, there are many different names uh, when it comes to college. Normally we start off with uh, the two-year college and before it was called a junior college. Sometimes it's still called a junior college. Uh, then you go all the way up to senior college, which is four years, which is, we call undergraduate. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can go on and go up to master's and also PhD. Normally most PhD uh, students, they are in universities. There are a few colleges that actually carry um, PhD programs. Um, so they are normally those colleges, they're waiting for accreditation to try to see if they become uh, university status. So, uh, but these are, that's the difference between what the college and the university is for the average student that's trying to get into college so they can just have the basic uh, understanding of the difference between the, the two. So mm -hmm. now usually, not usually, in high school they start thinking about what college or university they want to go to, mm -hmm. um, what would you say they really need, the most important thing they need to start doing to start preparing themselves to go to college? Well, I believe definitely the preparation starts at least by the ninth grade. I mean, it's something that you should always, and your parents hopefully should always be prepping you towards, not always so focused on just college, college, mm -hmm. college. But I think by the time you get to ninth grade, the preparation should definitely start where you should be exposed to uh, different materials um, as far as college tours, doing all those things early so you can have a sort of an idea in the way that most of the schools today work have a lot of college prep courses that are now given in the high schools. So um, what happens with that is that the students, they're able to take college courses and they are able to uh, finish actually, some of them are actually fin um, finished with half of their course uh, college uh, program. The yes, before they enter into college. So, um, but the problem is with some of the students, they really don't understand, depending on where they're going, they really don't understand that um, those courses that they are taking, that they have to maintain the same GPA as if you actually were in college. Oh, when you attend Because, them. yes, because uh, definitely the students that come in, a lot of times they're, you know, hey, I've, I've taken my classes already, so I'm exempt from taking these classes, and I don't have to take these classes, so I can just, you know, skate now up to junior mm -hmm. year or almost senior year. But what happened is that if they want to go for a particular uh, program, uh, sometimes, you know, if you have C's, you're going to have to repeat those classes over again. Oh, okay. So these are things that they are not fully aware of. But if they are more aware of that once, well, you know, once they're in uh, high school, that would definitely help them along the way, and especially for some of the students mm -hmm. also, too, who don't, you know, um, have the exposure to the college background. I think it's so important for just parents. Um, to even get their children involved in doing so many things as far as activities, uh, college related or university related. Um, community but what in service. Case, but what in case you have a child who says, you know, college is just not for me. Do you say, well, you, do you say that a parent should say, okay, give it a year and see what happens? Or should we say, what is really your interest and maybe send them to another type of school or you know trade or whatever it is instead of a university and spending you know so eighty a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and they don't yeah. really want to be there well that's definitely a good question because I do have a lot of those students that come in I have uh, freshman students I get the bulk of freshman students and when they come in there are a lot of the students that say well why I don't know why I'm here I'm only here because my mother told me to come here my father <laughs> told me to come, to come here right and they really don't want to be there and they say that well this is not for me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I do with a lot of the students, and it, it's written here in the book, and I always say that college is not maybe for everyone, right. but education mm -hmm. is for it's everyone. Yeah. And you don't want to, especially in today's world, you don't want to be out there and you don't have a mm -hmm. backup, and your backup is your degree. Yeah. And yeah. it's okay to have a trade. And I always tell them, too, it's okay to have a trade. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one's saying that you, you know, don't go the trade route that may be a good thing for you. Yeah, because I don't mm -hmm. think you should force them to go to college because you're not gonna, you're not gonna, uh, how you say, strive and mm -hmm. really be motivated mm -hmm. to do your work if you are forced right. to go to and college. the full experience. Yes, yes. because I think mm -hmm. if you really want to go, your parents don't have to be on you about 
filling out an application. You would be bringing the application that's home, true. That's true filling too. it out yourself. You would be doing your research. You would be trying to find out about the school. You right. know, come on, my dad, we got to go visit this mm -hmm. college or whatever. If that enthusiasm is not there, yeah. then to me, I'm not wasting my money <laughs> to be sending you to college because it's mm -hmm. going to be a waste of time. So if you say you just really do not want to go, then just get you a good job and move up Mm -hmm. in the company from there. Because I know plenty of people that did not go to college, started mm -hmm. working, and honey, they running co corporate corporations now. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's good to have the college degree, mm -hmm. but you can still and make it with that. It. But yes. it's just good to have some kind of But now backup. in this, this generation, the corporations and businesses are kind of steering away from, you hear about Google oh, and yes. all the tech companies, they're saying you don't have to have a college right. degree now mm -hmm. to have a position with them. I mean, do you still feel that it's necessary to go to college or spend the money or now since we're kind of like backing away from it? Well, I always feel like there's always going to be competition. And you always, in life, you just always want to be at the top of your game. And being at the top of your game is making sure that you have everything in that backpack that's on you every day. You want to make sure that everything is in there so no one can basically say to you, you know what, um, well, you really don't have the qualifications because, you know, you don't have a degree and you don't have a degree, but mm, she has a degree. So that says a little bit more, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's just like when you apply for jobs, right? And they tell you, mm -hmm. uh, we, we accept bachelor's yeah. degrees, but we prefer mm -hmm. master's, master's degrees. Yeah. So who do you really think they're looking for? for the they're degree. looking for the person with the master's degree. Yeah. So, I mean, even when it comes to the colleges and the universities mm -hmm. as well, when they, um, students are applying for school, mm -hmm. they tell them that, oh, we're look, don't worry about that. We're not looking for the top student. We're not looking for that 4.0 student. We're looking for that 3.0 student but you think they're not really going to be looking somewhere mm -hmm. in that bracket for those 4.0s down to the 3.5s down to the 3.0s they're definitely going to be looking but well, you know what today what you're saying is true and then also what Tiffany was saying too because I just thought about it when mm -hmm. I was you know on the job working mm -hmm. and I'm no I noticed that they had started hiring a lot of young executives now mm -hmm. and one particular executive came in and he ended up being the department's boss. He had no degree, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but he was head of that department, mm -hmm. and he was younger, younger than the people that was working under him. Mm -hmm. And see, oh, the, the older that. people is resentful mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of that is going on now. That oh, they yes. are hiring a, lot of, a lot of young people as executive people to run mm -hmm. these different companies and stuff like that. Which I think is a good thing in a way, because um, you get a little bit of um, of the what's going on currently, right? <laughs> you know, and then you have the the well, the whole atmosphere mm -hmm. and the culture of the uh, organization or the company, and, and then you have uh, the ones that have been there that are looking to retire soon. So you have some of everything. And but I you know, I don't. Okay, go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was just going to say not only that; it's just that sometimes people come in and management and they're like book smart they don't have n no managerial oh, skills <laughs> they're like the worst managers but then you come yeah, in somebody who doesn't really have because they think they're better than oh, you anyway because yes. they right. have this degree mm -hmm. and then the, the one that comes in without the degree can really step in and oh, and have morale and mm -hmm. you know get things going in that department mm -hmm. so i you know i really feel like it just all depends on you as a person and really what you want to do a degree doesn't, to me, say that you're capable or you're not capable of doing that job. Everybody learns the job. Yes. yes. The, and and I went to, I actually went to school for communications, and I'm not even doing communications. I'm doing insurance, yeah. which is, you know, um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I got the college experience, but I learned what I did by working there, mm -hmm. not by my degree. Right, yeah. right. And it happens. Um, I did mechanical engineering. I took up mechanical engineering in my undergrad and I was able to get uh, jobs working in the background in the field when I first got out. But then eventually I said, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm looking for something more. Yeah. I'm looking for something, you know, exactly. more than this. Exactly. And, you know, in, in the field such as that, it's a little tough for most females, you know. I remember when I was 
when I was at the Board of Ed and I first started. And so mm -hmm. I already had in my head, I'm not staying in this department for about <laughs> two, three years. I'm moving, you know, I'm going to move up while I'm here. Right. I don't have to be changing companies. I can move up mm -hmm. in, in this area. And when I started to start moving up, then I started losing my friends because now oh, yes. they look at me as like, I'm like, well, who do you think you are or whatever mm -hmm. because <laughs> I would stay late and do the work that the boss wanted to do or if the boss asked me to do extra work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they have a time that they go to lunch. Mm -hmm. If you go to lunch at 12, they're at the time clock ready to go to lunch at 12. <laughs> if you leave at 5, they're at the time clock ready to leave at 5. So, you know, if, if you're not like that and mm -hmm. you will stay and do the extra work or you never say, and see mm -hmm. what I hate to hear someone say is that's not my job. Oh, that yes. the one doing who, who's the job. See, yes. my thing is, I'm going to learn your job, too, because, see, when you leave, I'm going to get your job. When you leave, that, that's my attitude. It's like if somebody in that department has to leave, I don't mind learning your job as well because that also is going to help me right. advance where I am. But see, that attitude that you don't want to put the extra work in and you're not motivated enough, but then they look at you in a different light, like, because mm -hmm. you want to mm -hmm. move up. Yes. You know, and then they have that attitude, stink attitude towards yeah, you. Yeah, because they're thinking you probably, oh, she's a kiss up. Well, everybody's <laughs> not meant to go up with you. That's how I see it. Yes. Well, that's what you, happened. You, 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 you lose go, your you, friends. You, that's, well, you know, I lost them along mm -hmm. the way, but then after a while, it didn't, at first it bothered me, you of know, course. but then after a while, it didn't bother me because I already had in sight what I wanted to, to do. do so I was yourself. meeting new friends mm -hmm. on the way up. Okay. And so I said, well, no, I, if, if that's how you feel towards me, then if I can't go to lunch at 12 o'clock, I can't go to lunch at 12 o'clock. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not right. at the time clock at 5 o'clock to punch out mm -hmm. or whatever when it's time to go home. Mm -hmm. So even when the new young executives come in, mm -hmm. I don't think you should be that upset because you've been there all those years before that person came in, mm -hmm. and you could have been moved up mm -hmm. and probably been the boss oh, of that department. Sure. Well, definitely. Definitely. So you don't have to get upset because a young person comes in and, and take over. As, right. lo as long as they are treating you, you know, good mm -hmm. and, and not respect. talking down to you and being respectful, then I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. But don't That's come good. in like you talking down to me or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, like that. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yes, definitely. It goes with the whole ethic, ethic, um, ethics, and it definitely you have to be respectful of anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, no one wants to be talked to as you know that they're the little person at the bottom of the totem pole, and you're all the way up here. So it, you know, I think that once. Uh, the younger crowd as they're coming in and you know they can get a sense in the vibe i think that they will definitely mm -hmm. um have more of an open mind i think a lot of them today have more of open you know minds not saying that um you know the generation before it didn't but it seems that today more uh younger people they're more open as far as oh, okay well we can work with that and uh -huh. we can do that i'll take that Very idea true. we can we can gel that together mm -hmm, and see mm -hmm. if it'll work you right. know they're not yeah. right. afraid to take risks yeah. now in the book also you talked about like um going away should kids go away to college or should they stay home because you know some parents are so overbearing, like oh, you know, yes. they don't want the, they don't want the student to go away to college. You mm -hmm. know, they oh he can't go away, she can't go away. They need to stay home, you know, oh, because yes. this is going right to happen. To and that's the house, you know. <laughs> how, how do you feel about that? Because I push mine out the door. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to go. <laughs> Let me tell you, when that day went, oh. you see that commercial on TV, how they go in there and change the room oh. so that when they can't come back. <laughs> well, you see, you, you know, come on. <laughs> but I think that uh, with students, definitely, okay, so there is a give or take with students who basically go away versus the students who stay. And I always normally tell my students um, who are staying I normally tell my students who basically are staying uh, within the city limits, hey, listen, if you're going in to college and you're going to, let's just say, do a liberal arts degree, and I'm, my students can tell you I'm a little, a little, a little not uh, uh, big on, you know, pushing them to stay, but what happens is that I don't feel that you should go away to school, right, to take something such as liberal arts, Right, and then but meanwhile wait a minute, you have a bill. But don't you you don't think it's good to have an experience? But don't you think that though. even though what regardless of what they're taking, you don't feel that it's it's a it's a good experience for them to get away oh, from home 
and to try to learn up. to become a some, little independent. Some need to grow oh, up and oh, be, yes, yeah. definitely. Because you know, because you know, if, some need you know to if they can still the... come home every night from college, you still washing their clothes, you still cooking all that kind of <laughs> right, stuff. Right, and there's no this difference. way when they go away to college, they become independent. Oh, definitely. I think that for some. For some, I think that um, them going away and getting their experience and their independence, I think that's a great thing, but not for all. And there are some students. No, I'm not saying. Well, yeah. if you have, I mean, if you have a, a kid that's meek and scared and, yes. you know, Definitely like, uh, stay home. If, if, if the door closes, he jumps yes. or whatever. <laughs> I, yeah, but even, even like that, I, even if the college is only two hours away. Mm. Okay, two hours away. Get to uh -huh. them, I still feel it's a good experience for mm -hmm. kids to go away, right? Yes. But if you get there and you just cannot take it, mm -hmm. and you at the point now, I don't want you to be hanging yourself or anything. <laughs> then come on home. Right, right. Then come on, come on back home and go to school here. But I just think it's nice when kids can go away and get that experience. They definitely. Meet new people. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely agree with that. I tell. I had two students actually this. Uh, semester um, that came to me, both young girls, and they stated that they wanted to go to Syracuse University, and <laughs> they weren't really necessarily wanting to stay home because they felt like they weren't being uh, treated as an adult now that they are in college, <laughs> right. and so because Mama is still Sometimes checking they to can't see what let time the they're coming home, go. <laughs> right, and so they they um. They're like, I have to get away in order to, <laughs> you know, experience real mm -hmm. life. And so I say, hey, listen, if that's what you want to do, then, then do it. Yeah. Now, do understand that there are some financial obligations behind that. You understand? So when I was talking about uh, students going away and they're taking programs such as liberal arts, you know, and paying fifty, sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, you know, to a school just to do that, and especially when you're going out of state to school and you're paying that out of state tax on top yeah. of what you're already paying mm -hmm. for the tuition, you know, that can come that costly yeah. once mm -hmm. you finish, and then you don't necessarily have a particular, you know. Uh, uh, career field that you're going into, that's a hefty bill to pay. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> today uh, we're out of time, but I want to thank you for coming on and, you know, uh, talking about your book, Secret, Secret Education. And it was number one on the Amazon oh. uh, list. Yes. yes. So if I you're interested in getting um, the book, Secret Education, uh, you can go to Amazon or you can call us and we'll give you the information for it. So thank you again for coming. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, look, if you got children that's ready to go to college, get this book. It has a lot of information in it that you need, and it tells you everything that you should do. And make sure your kids go to college. Mm -hmm. And if they don't want to go to college, then make them get a job, <laughs> and they can move up from there, yes. and as long as they bring in some money to help pay the rent, OK? <laughs> But don't disencourage your parents to go away. I think it's a good experience. But if you say they stay home, they can stay home. But get secret education. And today, thank you so much for thank putting you. this together. Welcome. You are welcome. Uh, it's thank it's you very well. um, informational for them to find out what they, sh what they should do. So thank you again for joining us. And thank you again for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time. Today's show is sponsored by Abu's Bakery. If you have a sweet tooth, stop by Abu's Bakery for some delicious cakes and pies. It's shining, it's shining.